do for me to make a song really um, gravitated towards my Bay Area roots. Yeah, and I mean, it's also dope to hear you. I mean, at this point, you know, you're, you, you've are you been in the game a long time, but it's cool to hear, you know, you collabing with the younger crowd too. Like yeah. like I said, the boy or Slimmy B. And I, I think, it, yeah, it kind of caught me off guard a little bit. I was like, ooh, that's a, that's a dope collab right there. But that people from the coming. Bay, no. People from the Bay, no, right? Like, yeah. you know, like, oh, that makes sense. Like yep. Vallejo, Richmond. Yep. You know what I mean? Like, it's yep. not that people who probably only... One of the things about my career, people have known me for so many different things. Mm -hmm. People know me from freestyling. Yep. People know me from battle rapping. People only know me from what is it? Bang it. Mm -hmm. Bay Area stuff. People only know me from, I, I did a whole album with Ski Beats and Dame Dash in New York. Crazy. People only know me from that, the East Coast stuff. Yeah. But staying in the game long enough, and keeping the quality, the content at a high quality and a high quantity, they start to, the world start to crash together and be like, oh yeah, I fuck with that. Oh, this is like, they start to know me. Yeah. And they know like, that's not, that makes sense, you know? Well, it's kind of hard to not like, like I said, when I was doing, you know, the research for this interview, it's like, there is your, your catalog, it just goes extensive as hell. So it's pretty wild to see that, but. Who you know can do songs with, R.A. the Rugged Man and Du Bois. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, I'm waiting. Yeah, I mean, it's it's very important though, I feel like to be, because in the sense, like I feel like you're the Richmond Ken Le Kendrick Lamar, you know what oh, I mean? Man, that's and a, as that's far a as, honor. Yeah, as far as like your ability to be a lyricist, but also with the same connection as far as S-O-B-R-B-E with the song that he did with them, Paramedic, and it's like, he can keep up with them in the same way that you can. You know what I mean? Because certain collabs. Did you listen to the song I sent it to you? Uh, no, but I seen the the, the snippet on Instagram and yeah. all that. So you hear the vibe, right? Yeah, you hear it like it's a vibe where we meet each other. Yep, yep. And like we said, like that that kind of comparison of you and left, and kind of a full circle moment where it is like that energy of like the old school meets the new school not to say that you're old school buddy. well because you, know I mean? you got to understand i'm pilo and them and tell you like pilo the boy like they grew up on the hyphy sound yep i'm one of the unintentionally one of the architects of that right we was there with mr fab we mm -hmm. were i've done many shows with keith the sneak yep i was in the studio with mac dre i've mm -hmm. done shows with mac dre yep but Mac Dre respects lyricism. Yep. Keith the Sneak respects lyricism. These are, Mr. Fab is a lyricist. Yep. We understood how to make songs that could translate. Yep. Well, and I think too, like, the, you know, nowadays I feel like with the music game, there's a little bit of like saturation of like the same shit. And if you really go back in the day, as far as like people like Eminem or you got like, certain lyricists that would get on songs that were mainstream at the same time, but have an underground lyricist feel. I feel like you, you do a good job of keeping up with that. That's what I come from. Yep. I come from the era. If you're a dope MC, you got to get played in the club too. Yep. But you got to be able to do that. Like a lot of people can't blend genres. But it comes with intention. Yep. It mm. goes back to that. It goes back mm. to intention. You have to, what is your intent? I'm not, I want to be, in order for me to be complete, I have to be able to exist and know that's what a dope artist is. Yep. Who are the biggest artists? The biggest artists are still the lyrical artists. Oh, yeah. Because they they can exist in many spaces. Mm-hmm. That's, that's what I, that's what my career, if you look at it, that's what it's patterned after. And that's what I want to do. So to me, it just makes sense. And um, that's the type of music I always want to make. I love it. Yeah, man.